Hello and welcome to Front Runner Motorsport. We had all the excitement of Formula E coming to an end for 2021, but there was more action going on this past weekend, with IndyCar having a third race at Indianapolis this year, but this one on the infield track. We also had World Rally Championship coming for the first time from Belgium and the halfway point in the British touring cars from Knockhill in Scotland. So with all that action to get through, remember to subscribe and let's begin. Front motorsport. Let's start with the IndyCar. After the manic streets of Music City and its glorious bridge, we went to the far more normal track at the Indianapolis Speedway. This was a far more normal race. With Patricio O'Ward on pole and Formula 2 superstar and IndyCar rookie Christian Lungard lining up in fourth, what an incredible result. The race did not go as well, but that is still one way to make a statement of intent. Patricia O'Ward led until the pit stops when Will Power grabbed the lead and never lost it again. O'Ward would keep dropping back with Grosjean, Herta, Palau and Rossi all getting past. After the last round of stops, it looked like it was closing between the top six or so cars, but Alex Palau would retire with an engine issue and that brought out the safety car. Big pain for him as he was well ahead of all of his main title rivals. If he doesn't win the championship, this will be why. Grosjean passed Herta for second, but contact between McLaughlin and VK brought out another safety car. Will Power kept the lead for the last six laps and took the win, his first of 2021. Palau still leads, but O'Ward closes up. Newgard and Ericsson finished 8th and 9th respectively, with Scott Dixon all the way back in 17th. Just 62 points separate the top five, so we are in for a close end to the year. Any one of those five can be champions, but can Alex Palau hold on? Hyundai desperately needed a good result in Belgium, and homeboy Thierry Neuville delivered, taking part-time teammate Craig Breen with him. Hyundai were leading 1-2-3 at the end of day one, but Ot Tanak would have more bad luck and a puncture dropped him back. He is pretty much out of championship contention now. Adrian Formel had a massive crash, and teammate Gus Greensmith ended up in a ditch, followed by the Hyundai of Pierre-Louis Lebert, who also ended up in a ditch. Takamoto Katsuta came up with a novel way to impede his rivals. He crashed heavily and dropped a pole into the middle of the track, getting the stage red flagged. It was a lot of fun seeing the WRC cars heading round the Spa-Francorchamps circuit. We have had WRC at Monza and Spa in the last two years. Sebastian Ogier didn't have a great rally. A couple of punctures kept him behind his teammates with Robin Perra taking Evans on the final day, but no one could catch Newville, who took his first win of the year and only Hyundai second. OJ has a big lead in the standings, but Newville and Evans are on the same points behind. Rovan Perra is ahead of Tanak, with only four rounds left in the series. It'll be interesting to see if Hyundai can keep the pressure on for the rest of 2021. Finally, British touring cars from Knock Hill, where is usually excitement at the short, tight Scottish track, but this was a much more reserved weekend than what we got at Alton Park. Dan Lloyd was the first victim. He ended up in the wall. That brought out the safety car. Ash Sutton looked quick once again with full weight on board the Infinity, but he couldn't catch Colin Turkington who took his 58th BTCC win and West Surrey Racing's 100th. Race 2 saw Turkington lead the way for the majority of the race. There was carnage at the start with Chris Smiley stalling and Nick Hamilton ploughing into the back of him, so he had another safety car. The story of this race was Colin Turkington versus Ash Sutton. It was a great battle with Turkington defending hard, but another safety car was called after Rory Butcher was spun after contact with Aidan Moffat. At the restart, Sutton got past Turkington and took the win. Josh Cook had a good weekend until race three when he retired at the start and held up Jack Goff in the process. This brought out another safety car. Tom Ingram won, but Ash Sutton had climbed to fifth and Turkington in eighth place, so Ash Sutton extends his lead. He is still only 14 points ahead of Tom Ingram, who is having a very good consistent season, with Colin Turkington a further 20 points behind. So that was all the action, not a whole lot from this past weekend, but the weekend coming is absolutely packed. We have Super GT from Japan, World and European Rallycross, more pure ETCR, World Touring Car Cup and DTM, IndyCar, Indy Lights and NASCAR in America, and of course the 24 hour of Le Mans, the biggest endurance race of the year. 
Can Toyota continue their stranglehold and take their fourth Le Mans win in a row? Can Kamui Kobayashi take his first Le Mans crown, dethroning compatriot Kazuki Nakajima in the process? I can't wait to find out, so remember to subscribe, leave a comment, like and share the video. Thank you for watching and have a good one.